Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tips, Tricks and Tutorials and today we are looking at using graphics tablets. Now I've had a lot of people over the last couple of months asking me if I have any pearls or wisdom, advice, exercises that people can use to just speed up that process of learning and unfortunately just like anything there are no shortcuts, there's no quick easy fix to get used to get good or uh, used to using a graphics tablet. It all just takes time as does everything else but in this video I'm just going to show you a couple of exercises and methods um, that I've kind of adopted myself, passed on to other students of my own who have, and they found it quite useful just to speed up that process to help familiarize yourself and make it feel a little less alien. We all know how jarring it'd be of an experience to go from being able to work on a piece of paper, knowing exactly what your hand's going to do, no matter exactly what your pen stroke's going to do, to then having to use a graphics tablet, especially one that doesn't have a screen, to then praying to God that you that you're right hand does what you want while you look at your monitor and i know how hard and awkward that can be of a, a transition so hopefully like i said with this video i'm just going to show you a few real easy techniques and ex exercises to get used to it right so first things first i'm using a huey on canvas 13. it does usually have a screen but i turn the screen off just so i can experience what i think the majority of you are using in terms of obviously the just a, a standard graphics tablet if you want to see my review on this one um on this huey on 13 let me know it's very old uh, by now so there are plenty of um reviews out there but should anyone want to know my personal opinion on this let me know in the comment section down below now the first set of things we're going to be looking at are two quality of life changes that I highly recommend uh, you doing just to make your life a little bit easier. The first thing is really important for the health and well-being of your eyesight. You're going to be staring at the screen for very long periods of time uh, going forward, especially now you've got a graphics tablet. So staring at a white canvas can be really really painful over a long period of time it could be really detrimental to your eyesight i know it has mine um, this past year so what i have started to do and it makes a big difference to myself is just turning the canvas slightly gray ever so slight tints then you just obviously have to keep it this way until the end just while you're sketching you turn it gray and then turn it white afterwards if you really prefer the aesthetic of that but like i said it just reduces the strain on your eyes the second thing that I do in terms of quality of life is the actual brush itself. Now, if you're just starting out with Photoshop, you'll be greeted with standard preset brushes. And this may be one or this will be one of them, a soft feathered brush. Obviously, you can see a little bit of jutter. But if your settings are just right, reduce the size all the way down. You can see really nice little taper, a little opacity to it. And oops. And yeah, it's not too bad to sketch with. However, when I made a discovery or I saw someone else doing this and I tried it for myself, I couldn't believe how much of a difference it actually made. And that is actually using a brush that simulates uh, or replicates um, oops, a, a brush or a pencil, should I say. So if I enlarge this now, you can see the texture that is in, in this. Now, if you want any of my brush presets, click the link down below. Uh, I've actually got, if you go to my Gumroad channel, uh, it's got a couple of online uh, a couple of online resources there you've got one paid uh, rendering resource which i'll talk about in a little bit but the brush presets is completely free and what you'll have access to are these here so from this little box here which is a uh, these are carbon fiber uh, patterns all the way up to this one and these are just rim re rim presets and the brushes that i use to render um, and these are fantastic um, but what we're going to be using today is the sketch sketch uh, pencil brush and as you can see, there is a slight gradient and a slight texture to those. And what I've just done is just apply literally a texture to the brush. And it just gives a slight pastel-y effect, almost like the um, quality of a pencil. Um, and when I started using this, for some reason, my mind just, it just clicked. It just felt so much more natural. I couldn't explain necessarily why that's the case. Uh, obviously, it should be really rough. But it did. There was just something about it that just made drawing on a tablet that little bit easier. So I highly recommend just having a mess around with those, seeing if anything on those presets uh, suits suits you and takes your fancy. And like I said, it doesn't cost anything, so you're not really losing on any, losing out on anything there. But again, a really nice little quality of life. The second thing is exercises. Now. Exercises, if you've watched my earliest tutor, tip shoots and tutorials video on just general sketching techniques, this is pretty much identical, but really useful. 
obviously you're having to look at your screen your hands doing something different you're no longer watching what your hands doing so creating a, getting into a habit of doing these exercises before every single sketch session is really useful to just build up that hand-eye coordination Get, keep your lines really tight try and replicate the same line over and over again obviously trying to replicate that line quality that you get with pens and markers and pencils and this will really build you up to have confidence in knowing exactly what and where your strokes are going and doing another really good one is dot to dot again simple and it works perfectly as well with just uh, manual sketching on a piece of paper but this is brilliant for practicing again your hand-eye coordination to make sure that you you're trust you trust your hand to go exactly where you want and you can see it still takes some practice even if you're doing it for a fair while so it's good to kind of recalibrate yourself every now and then just as you would with the graphics tablet itself now another really useful thing is the position of your graphics tablet now if you realized i actually have my tablet in the exact same orientation the exact same angle as my laptop and that's because if i start drawing like this and my body posture and my angle of the arm of my arm is all thrown off in relation to where the the uh, screen is so it becomes very difficult to kind of work with whoops your arm so if you rotate it again and keep like i said a slight rotation here or there isn't too bad it's whatever makes you whatever you're comfortable with to be honest but having it in the same angle really helps and obviously you can use the r key to rotate the screen unfortunately i can't do it while i'm screen capturing but the r key just like you would if you were rotating a piece of paper um helps you kind of work around the canvas a little bit easier and the last thing that i can think of right now is tracing now you can use sketch that you've already done professional sketches photographs photographs of anything but this is a really good way just like those exercises that we've just done we've just done to build that confidence in your hand and all i'm using is just a sketch that i did obviously with the tablet with the screen on um, the first thing i do is just kind of go about it a bit unnaturally so trace the lines that are on here so don't worry too much about the technique and you can see how kind of out of practice I am and how beneficial this would be for myself if I ever went back to a graphics tablet without a monitor. Now there are advantages to that. I do actually prefer sometimes the uh, the advantages that come with that. It can just be, again, like I said, posture, just quality of life, ease, mobility. It's very easy to just transport something that doesn't have a screen built in because you've probably got excess wires and cables that you need to actually power the device um so there are advantages to that but just having that confidence to just follow those lines and again use the zoom to your advantage now don't get too used to it because believe me when i've gone back to paper every now and then when i'm out having a coffee somewhere uh, i do find myself actually trying to physically zoom in on a piece of paper and believe me you don't feel exactly uh, very clever when you do that <laughs> um but again just tracing those lines really just helps that hand-eye coordination and that quality and then when you feel comfortable you can approach it as if you would a very a normal sketch so i'm going to try and approach this as i did originally get my wheels in position ellipses ellipses can be very tricky so i recommend practicing those as well and yeah just try and approach it as if you were sketching again and this is a nice exercise regardless of whether you're actually learning your tablet or not if you've got a professional professional sketch to hand and you're using it and you want to kind of replicate their sketch style um, I, I still do it every now and then pull up their sketch and try and sketch over it perhaps maybe in your with your kind of circle uh sorry with your style sorry like i said with mine being the circle but if you want to try and copy their sketch quality or their perspective quality um tracing 
digitally is a really good way to do that just to kind of build up that extra little bit of repertoire when it comes to your skills and again you can see the quality difference but with time and with practice it will come there are no shortcuts unfortunately like i said in the beginning to this but if you repeat these skills and these little exercises at the start of every single day you will see very noticeable and drastic changes to to the quality of your work and yeah it can be really useful of an, a really useful tool and exercise to help improve your work and the flexibility and the uh, the uh, benefits of actually sketching digitally are, are really useful as well you know no longer have to obviously keep scanning in or taking photos of everything and the beauty of these brushes are also that the actual quality of the sketch itself is very pencil and natural like so you could almost use take a photo of a blank page in the sketchbook which i have done in the past and just place some of these sketches that you do with these brushes and believe it or not you can't actually tell the difference <laughs> you really struggle to tell the difference between these if you get that texture right and you can obviously manipulate and edit a oh, little bit of lag the computer stressing a little bit so with that said we'll stop we'll stop there with those so there you have it unfortunately no one stop quick trick to becoming professional overnight or really quickly but some easy exercises that you can use before each sketch session and hopefully it'll speed up the process and just help you get a little bit more comfortable and familiar with your graphics tablet now i have a shameless self plug for anybody out there who's still struggling to get to grips with photoshop or struggling to find a technique or a style that suits them I've got you back. I have a Gumroad account, obviously the same place that you can get my brush presets, link in the description down below. There is a seven hour course on there for 25 pound and it walks you through the bare basics. Like I said, for basics and in, for, for beginners and intermediates, I walk you through how to set up your pages, understanding and setting up brush presets, applying color, how to understand form, shadow, highlights on basic objects. And then more importantly to a lot of you, I walk you through three different renders in three different techniques techniques and styles and hopefully that way then you can appropriate some of those styles and techniques into your own work and find an, a style and method that suits you. I give you all the PSD files, all the JPEGs so you can follow along, break down my work and hopefully see how I do it that really helps you guys out as well. But never feel that you have to buy anything. Um, you can always join my Discord group. We've got a great bunch of guys over there. We're always welcome and happy to help you. I'm always on there every single day. So if you post something, I'll be there to try and give you any little quicker tips and advice. And also it's a great place to get keep up to date with when my videos are going live on youtube and when i'm going live on twitch so i hope to see you again guys and yeah until next time stay safe bye